Hey everyone, Kyle here. Today we'll cover how to pay yourself and handle taxes with a single member LLC. I walk you through how to track your profits, understanding how LLC income is taxed, and how to avoid penalties so you can stay on top of your finances. If you'd rather have someone else handle the complex process for you, skip ahead to the end of this video. I'll be sharing a special offer where you can form your LLC for just $39, saving you both time and money. So you've started your business as a single member LLC. Congratulations. One of the biggest questions new business owner have is how do I pay myself and how does this affect my taxes? These are really important things to understand because they have a big impact on your overall business success. So now let's go to step one, tracking your profits and expenses. The first step is understanding how much profit your business is generating. Let's assume that your business made $150,000 this year in a revenue. That's all the money you made from sales or services. Now let's say you spent $75,000 on business expenses like supplies, advertising, and other costs. After subtracting your expenses from your revenue, you're left with $75,000 in profit. You can think of profit as the money left over after all the bills are paid. It's what you actually earned. It's really important to keep track of this throughout this year by using an accounting software or at least a spreadsheet. This helps you know exactly how much your business is making and what expenses are reducing your taxable income. And now step number two, how to pay yourself. Now how do you pay yourself from that profit? As a single member LLC, the IRS treats your LLC like a sole proprietorship for tax purposes. This means you don't have to worry about payroll taxes or issuing yourself a formal paycheck. Instead, you pay yourself for what it's called a draw. A draw is simply by transferring money from your business bank account to your personal account. You can write yourself a check, make an ACH transfer, or even use a service like Venmo. Whatever works best for you. And here's the good news. There is no extra tax to pay when you take a draw from your LLC. That money is already part of your LLC's profit, so the tax is handled when you file your tax return. One thing to keep in mind though is that you need to make sure your business always has enough cash flow to operate. So don't throw out more than your business can afford, especially in the early stages when cash can be tight. And now step number three, how to pay taxes on LLC profits. Now let's move on to the tax side of things. This part can be a little confusing but I'll break it down step by step. So you'll pay taxes based on your LLC's profits regardless of how much money you take out of the business. So in our example, you made $75,000 in profit. Even if you took out $50,000 as a draw, you'll still be taxed on the full $75,000. Here's how it works. You report your LLC's income and expenses on Schedule C, which is part of your personal tax return, which is the form 1040 or the Schedule C. And this is where you'll show your revenue, expenses, and your net profit. That profit, whether it's $10,000 or $100,000, then carries over to your 1040 and is included in your total taxable income. And now let's move on to estimated taxes and avoiding penalties. Now here's an important point. As a business owner, the IRS expects you to pay taxes on your profits as you earn them throughout the year. These are called estimated tax payments. If you don't pay enough in estimated taxes, you could face penalties and interest at the end of the year. So how do you stay on top of this? One way is to set aside a percentage of your profits each quarter, typically around 25-30%, to 30 and make sure that you're making those estimated taxes payments on time. You can do this directly on the IRS website or by mailing in payment vouchers. This ensures you won't owe a big tax bill come tax season.